Good morning, Lowell High School, and welcome to the week ahead. It's Groundhog Day, and it's the second day of February. I can't believe we're already in the second semester. Welcome to the week ahead. We have a great show. Let's check this out. At LHS, we have some great courses that you should be considering as you consider selecting your classes for next year. One of the courses includes a pathway, which is a group of courses that connect to each other that will provide you with some certificates, credentials, real world experience, and classroom experience that could help you to select a career, prepare for a job, or just to learn some transferable skills that you could apply anywhere. The pathway application is on the LHS website. After you hear from our students, you're going to want to apply for a pathway. So consider it. There's also a pathway showcase this Monday during all lunches in the freshman cafeteria. You'll be able to talk to students live. So the students you see in the video today, you'll also be able to meet them and ask them questions about their selection of pathways. I hope you're able to attend. We have a great group of students here today that are going to talk to you about different pathways that you can consider from the student perspective. They're going to introduce themselves and then they're going to talk about their pathways. Hi, my name is Joseph Bass. I'm a senior and I'm in EOS. I'm in the culinary arts pathway and um, we offer a lot uh, from the freshman grade to a uh, senior. So the course is very uh, fun and hands-on like I said. Um, when we come in there's a lot to learn. We teach you the proper way to proper technique to cook. We teach you how to cook. We teach you uh, customer service, uh, safety hazards come when it comes to food. We provide a lot you can use out of school that you can use to get uh, at your jobs. And um, it's very fun. We cook for teachers. We sell the food. We also try new food. We um, do a lot of experimenting. And it's very uh, inclusive, so everyone can really get involved uh, into uh, the pathway. And there's a lot of space for everyone, and there's a lot of new things uh, you can learn. Hi, I'm John, and uh, I'm in the environmental science pathway. Uh, the environmental science pathway is great if you're interested in things like geology, meteorology, oceanography, if you want a career in any of those. Uh, it also has some pretty good electives. You can take chemistry and that's involved with UMass Lowell, so every now and again you'll probably you go to UMass Lowell, do a couple of experiments in their labs, very high tech, very cool. And uh, another class, uh, environmental studies, I recently took last semester. Uh, environmental studies is a great course uh, if you like hands-on learning. The teacher, Dr. Goodhue, she's pretty good about like applying things in the classroom to like the outside world. So pretty frequently, like you go outside, take do experiments like on trees, uh, making like checking temperatures, like studying global warming, things like that. So that's pretty cool. And another thing you do in that class, you write a capstone paper. It's 12 pages, which to most people that seems pretty scary, but with the help of Dr. Goodhue and Dr. Stanford. Uh, they'll teach you the skills necessary to outline your paper, prepare to write it, and all those skills, when you like develop them now, it may seem hard, but those are essential skills that you need in college, and I found it very easy to write the paper with like their assistance, so if you really want a good pathway that applies like outside of school and helps you learn about the world, then environmental science pathway should be something that you consider. Hi, my name is Victor, and I'll be talking about the engineering and biotechnology pathways. So with engineering, if you're more interested in like computers, architecture, and math, um, that's a pathway I would highly recommend. You would take courses such as principles of engineering, robotics, and physics. And if you have a more stronger interest in the medical field, I would take the biotechnology pathway, which has courses such as biology, anatomy, and environmental studies, which is something that John just mentioned. Um, and with the courses you take, um, most of them are DE or AP, so you would be able to transfer your credits to any like college that you're interested in. And even if you don't take those DE classes, um, the honors classes would be able to give you a good foundation when you're going into college. Hello, my name is Ciara Che. I'm a senior at Lowell High. I'm in B House, and I am a part of the business pathway. Over the past three years, for me at Lowell High, I have taken a different range of business classes. I have taken entrepreneurship, accounting, marketing, personal finance, and retail marketing. Um, I was able to use the background knowledge from all my business classes to use it in retail marketing while working in the 1826 school store. 
and as for personal financing um it's really good because i'm able to use it in the real world it allows me to be able to know how to budget and spend my money and save my money wisely so i'm able to utilize it for my future self hi my name is mercy moniki i'm a senior i'm in e-house and we're going to be talking about the education pathway Hi, my name is Morino Yanaho. I'm a senior and I'm from C House, the best house. The education pathway is a pathway that mainly focuses on students learning about the inner workings of a school and its school district. To be in the pathway, all you have to do is take a few classes. Me personally, I've taken um, teaching in the inclusive classroom, intro to psychology, intro to sociology, and general biology. And all of those classes are either um, dual enrollment classes or early college, so you can get college credits for taking them. And I want to highlight teaching in the inclusive classroom. In that class, you get to make lesson plans and go teach um, to elementary schools in our community. And then at the end of the semester, you have a symposium at UMass Lowell where you get to showcase your work to the public. I've also taken all those classes, but I'm a person that's not necessarily going to go into education. But there's still advantages to the program because it allows you to work with different groups of people from diverse background and it, backgrounds, and it allows you to... Um, learn how to manage just all groups of people and connect with community leaders. And if you, you would like more information about the pathway, you can talk to Ms. Bauer in room 128. Thank you. <laughs> Many of you already know this, but we have a huge fan base for the week ahead. Three of our top fans have requested to be on the week ahead. One of them was already on and two are new to the show. We have Chris, Aiden, and Michael who are going to talk to you about a couple of different topics. I hope you enjoy their interview. My, my name is Christopher Garcia. I'm in D House. I'm Michael Belly in D House. I'm Aiden. I'm in C House. Uh, Chris, what do you like about Low High? Be because it's fun, it's cool, I meet new friends. And Michael, who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Dugan. Why do you like Mr. Dugan? Because he's always like, he gives me fun things. He makes learning fun? Yeah. All right. And Aiden, who's your favorite teacher? Miss Sinclair. And oh. why is she your favorite teacher? Because she does good things. Math. She helps you with math? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for coming to my week ahead. Thanks for watching the week ahead. I can't wait to see week ahead on Friday. Yeah! <laughs> this week, we're back with trivia. Let's see what our students have to say about random questions that I came up with last night. Here we go. Are you ready? What is the largest country in the world? Russia. 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 That's one. Which is the largest country in the world? Asia? Is Asia a country? Asia? What is the largest country in the world? Damn, if I get this one wrong, I'm gonna be upset. Europe, Asia, no, Asia. We're gonna try this again. That was, a, Asia's a continent. What is the largest country in the world? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look so dumb on the, on, on the week of hey. Russia. That is correct. I don't know. I don't know who it is. China? Russia? Russia? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> M&M fruit shoes would eventually become what popular candy? M&M fruit shoes. Fruit shoes. M&M fruit shoes would eventually become what popular candy that we eat today? Well, you don't eat it, but... Starburst. Mm. Yeah. M&M's fruit juice, M&M's fruit juice would eventually become what popular candy? That is correct. M&M's fruit juice would eventually become what popular candy? M&M fruit juice turned into a different candy. What is it? Skittles. Yes, yeah, Starburst. That is correct. You guys are good. What is the first animal to ever be cloned? You know, I've seen some that were doing things with like the cyber tiger from back in the days, like the saber tooth tiger. Is it that one? It is a sheep. <laughs> what was the first animal ever to be cloned? That's correct. I don't know how you know that, but that's amazing. Okay. Skipper. What is the name of Barbie's little sister? No, 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 no. no. Um, Stacy? She has two of them. I think she has two Stacey. of them? Oh, I know her name. It does begin with an S. Dude, it's Stacy. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, 
it's Skipper. It's Skipper. Oh. Wait, that's the dog. It's There's Can two we fact check that? There's two sisters. Yeah, let's fact check it. Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea. Stacy is correct. Judges. Well, that does it for this week's edition of The Week Ahead. We want to thank you for joining, and we'll see you next time on The Week Ahead. Have a great day and a great weekend, everybody.